Scientists are now finding that the universe in which we live is like a precision designed instrument of unimaginable magnitude. In fact, the universe seems specifically tweaked solely to enable life on Earth. We live on a planet with scores of improbable and interdependent life supporting conditions that make it a tiny oasis in a vast and hostile universe. The extent of the universe's fine tuning makes the anthropic principle perhaps the most powerful argument for the existence of God. These highly precise and interdependent environmental conditions, which are called anthropic constants, make up what is known as the anthropic principle. The word anthropic comes from the Greek word that means human or man. The anthropic principle, then, is just a fancy title for the mounting evidence that has many modern scientists believing that the universe is extremely fine tuned, or perhaps designed, for the specific purpose of supporting human life here on Earth. It's not that there are just a few broadly defined constants that may have resulted by chance. In actuality, there are more than 100 very narrowly defined constants that strongly point to an intelligent designer. These constants include everything from our exacting distance from the sun, the exacting balance of gravitational forces, the Earth's axis rotation rate, the thickness of the Earth's crust, the preciseness of atmospheric discharge, the delicately balanced thickness of our protective and life-sustaining atmosphere, to the interaction of salt and freshwater bodies, the necessity of exacting types of vegetation, the precise chemical balances of the air we breathe, and the absolute necessity of the interconnectivity of our ecology from honeybees to rainforests. Without the precise and seemingly measured balances, along with scores and scores of others of equal importance, we would not, no, we could not, be here. Astrophysicist Hugh Ross has calculated the probability that these more than 100 constants would exist today for any planet in the universe by chance. His answer is quite shocking. One chance in 10 to the 138th power. That's one chance in 10 with 138 zeros after it. As a way of understanding how large that number is, consider that there are only about 10 to the 70th power atoms in the entire universe. In effect, then, there is zero chance that any planet in the universe would have the life-supporting conditions we have unless there is an intelligent designer behind it all. In a recent book entitled Rare Earth, professors Peter Ward and Donald Brownlee explore the conditions necessary for life to emerge. They conclude that the conditions favorable for life must be so rare in the universe that not only intelligent life but even the simplest of animal life is exceedingly rare in our galaxy and in the universe. This has led many former skeptics to the conclusion recently expressed by a reviewer of the book from the New York Times, maybe we are alone in the universe after all. While it does seem ludicrous to claim that life exists on only one tiny speck in a universe of 10 billion trillion stars, yet incredibly Earth appears to sit alone in a hostile universe devoid of life. In fact, the reasonable person would have to surmise that if life really did spring up through completely natural processes on the Earth, then the same thing could presumably happen on other worlds, perhaps many, many other worlds. And yet, when we look at outer space, we do not see an environment teeming with life anywhere. We see planets and moons where no life as we know it could possibly survive. In fact, we see all sorts of wildly different planets and moons, hot places, murky places, ice worlds, gas worlds, and it seems there are far more ways to be a dead world than a live one. The incredibly precise numerical values required for life confront scientists with obvious implications. The remarkable fact is that the values of these anthropic constants seem to have been very finely adjusted to make possible the development of life only here, only on this planet, and only now. The reality is that we live on an extremely rare planet, perfectly positioned in an extremely rare solar system, ideally located in an extremely rare galaxy within a highly improbable universe. Yet it is the Word of God, the Bible, that tells us plainly 
that we are the crowning glory of the universe, the apple of God's eye. And this big God in this unimaginable universe tells us plainly, we are not alone and he loves us. Through Jesus Christ, he has provided the way for you to share in his life for eternity. Now that really is amazing.